Today, we're gonna watch Pinocchio. We're gonna make some sausages. And uh, who knows what else? You never know, it might just do those two things and fall asleep on the couch. I just realized, well, Jen just realized that we never actually told you guys whether we liked the food yesterday or not. It was actually really delicious. It was a little bit spicy, which I kind of like, but it was very delicious. We would eat that, or I would eat it again at least. I liked it. What do we got for today? We got some, try that again, the battery died. We got some potatoes, we got some sausages. These are mild Italian sausages and they look awesome. I don't really know what kind of sausage we were supposed to use because it's, again, it's like a British, uh, it's a UK so juicy bag. So what kind of sausages would you use in this? What is the, what's the like type? What's, what's, what kind of so juicy bag is it? A Tuscan sausage bag. Oh, so sorry, I guess I was, that would... That's Italian, oh. yeah. I was like, well, what kind uh, of sausages? It's a, it's a Tuscan, Tuscan sausage bag. So I guess Italian would work. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Italian is correct. Do you guys have any other so kind of sausages in the UK? Well, like breakfast sausages and stuff. Yeah. But. I really liked you guys. Well, actually, I didn't have your breakfast sausages when I was over there, but I saw Jen eat them and they looked delicious. But we need to go back over there now that I eat meat. There's like so many other things that we could have been eating. Uh, I mean, it's pretty much all the same stuff that we have over here. Nah, I'm gonna, like I need some bangers and mash, and I need some toad in the hole, and I need some, uh, some, I don't know, figgy pudding. What else do you guys have? I need all those things too. Yeah. yeah. Also, another fun thing about the United States is we don't really have butter beans. You guys in the UK do, uh, and these are just like underripe uh, lima beans. Like we eat them when they're green, when they're lima beans. Fun fact, which isn't really fun for me, but it might be a fun fact for you guys, is that this side of my mustache right now is like at a forward angle. I couldn't get it to do the right thing this morning, but it's uh, kind of annoying for me because I can see it. And it's just like right here, like me, 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 me. And it's like, I keep seeing it in my vision. So I keep looking down at it and wanting it to go back, but it doesn't. All right, so this is kind of gonna be a little bit loud, but I'm gonna, after I kind of brown these, I'm just gonna put them in here one by one. Oh, it's hot. Careful. I cut up an entire onion um, and I just quartered it. So I'm gonna throw those in there. They're not really broken apart. This was kind of like, again, I'm just winging it. I figured because we had made this before that it would be a little bit easier. I think it's turning out pretty darn good. Oh, and so the funny thing about these bags, we were talking to um, Nick from the season, the season Pass podcast the other day, and he was saying that apparently these bag things were really popular in the 70s. So I thought that was really funny, like in the 70s in the UK. Um, so there's a little fun fact for you. And this, it called for two carrots, but I, this is actually four carrots. Uh-oh. Gold! Yeah. Oh, Nobody gets a carrot. I don't know if dogs can have carrots. Probably not. Oh, God. You've eaten it, though. Okay, so the oven is ready, but I'm not ready, <laughs> so that's not good. Here are the butter beans. This is just one can of butter beans that I've um, dra uh, drained and rinsed. Get those in there. And now I'm actually going to wash this out and use it to drain my potatoes, because I'm going to serve all of this with potatoes. Mm -hmm. Okay, last but not least, the sauce. I'm just going to kind of tilt this and pour it in there. I do, do you do like Taylor Swift now? I don't think I can shake it. Is it still hot from cooking the sauce? I think it'll be okay. Just like that? Yeah. Okay. Okay, awesome. So now it's ready to go in the oven. Oven. Yay. And this is set at 350. And you want to do it on the very bottom because the bag is going to expand and cooks for 45 minutes. Yay. What are you doing now? Now I'm going to take my potatoes that I boiled, put them back in here, and I don't really know how to make like mashed potatoes. I just, I just kind of cook them and mash them and add like a little bit of butter and a little bit of cream. And I think that's how you make that's them. That's <laughs> I think there's probably like fancier ways to make them, but that's just how I have made them. So that's what we're going to do. I'll tell you what, it's the way that I like them. So I'm glad that you make them like that. Yeah. How much butter? Like 10 sticks. A stick? Or like maybe maybe like a half a stick. Yeah. Okay. My favorite part is that you can't tell the difference between uh, potatoes and butter. Yeah. In my mind. Mm -hmm. You know that episode of I Love Lucy when they're like stomping on the grapes? That's kind of what I feel like. 
uh, the only episode of I Love Lucy that I can think of is the one where they get stuck in the in the chocolate factory. But and you you know what else I think of when I think of somebody stomping on grapes? What? That oh, the, that lady. What does she say? She goes, are you? What does she really say? I think she goes no. <laughs> I'll show you the video right now, Jen, and then we'll we'll quote it. We'll reenact it. And it'll be like I <laughs> That looks pretty good. Yeah, now the hard part of getting all the crap out of this masher. This was supposed to happen quicker. What? In honor of the grape lady, what are we having? Oh yeah, we're gonna have some boxed wine. Hello. I don't know how to work this. I'll show you. Do I open this? No, I don't think oh. so. There should be like a, is there not a thing? Hold on, there you go, all right. No. That stays no. there, I think. You like pull it up and then slide it in this little crack. Yep. Is it good? There yeah. we go. Yeah, yeah, and then you can put that back down. Yeah, perfect. And then we pull the, yeah, popping bottles in the club. Let's see how it turned out. Ooh, wow. It looks delicious. Mm, it smells so good. Yeah. <laughs> it smells really good. Here's one. Oh, yeah, look at that. Well, they kind of shrunk. Well, they're pork, so. Yeah. Oh, they look good. Oh, man. You want I can't two? wait. Yes. Okay. Oh, now. It's going to be so good. Some beans on there. Oh, man. Look at how I'm delicious that looks. Making a big mess. No, it looks so good. Good? This is gonna be the best dinner ever. Came outside to walk the dogs, and uh, I don't know if you guys saw it on Instagram when I posted the picture of the sunrise this morning. Here's the sunset. It looks awesome. Clouds are all pink and fun colored. Holy macaroni! This is the, like the best thing that I've ever tasted. It's awesome. Time to watch Pinocchio. Your heart desires will come to <laughs> So Pinocchio just became a boy, not a real boy yet. The fairy came in and was like, you're a boy. A real boy? No, not yet. And then he woke up Geppetto and Geppetto's like, oh no, there's somebody in here. Let me get the gun out from underneath my pillow. But it's like a, an old school, like with the, the cone on the end. Like a blunderbuss? Yeah. Geppetto's pretty gangsta. Oh, oh he just that. shot. <laughs> oh no. So I paused the movie for a second to try these hobnobs. Look at this dog coming over thinking he's going to get some. Um, I'll be honest with you guys. I thought for sure this was going to be chocolate and orange just based on the outside of it. Let's give them a try. What would you guys call this? Like a digestive or something? This is just a cookie to me. Mmm. These are delicious. This whole uh, Pleasure Island scene is crazy. I don't remember if I told you that we finished Pinocchio or not yet. But we did. We finished Pinocchio. It was Pinocchio-y. There was that weird crazy scene where everybody turned into donkeys and it was kind of a little bit scary. But it all worked out in the end. So let's hear it for Pinocchio. I think we got Fantasia next. Maybe I won't fall asleep through that one because I've fallen asleep through the last two. This one was funny when I fell asleep though because I was like watching it and I knew it was happening and then bam the movie was over and I woke up and I'm like hey what happened to the movie and Jen's like you fell asleep and I was like I did? So it was a, a very odd experience. Also Jen tells me that she likes my hair right now. I feel like crybaby because electricity killed my parents. We finished out the night watching Portlandia. I knew it had a name. But, and I'm still super tired even though I fell asleep once. I'm gonna go to bed and I will see you guys tomorrow. And now it's time to pay the price.